All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no, why do you have to do that? There, that's how you know it started. Really? I'm sorry, I'm always too far from the mic. Put it back down. Well, no. I'll I've talk right here. I've actually, I'm trying some new mic settings, so. Um, I'll welcome. Just, I'll just hunch over like a, like a punch thing. Like a, a what? I can't think of what's hunched. Like a troll from WoW. I'll just hunch over. Uh, yeah, because they have terrible, terrible posture. It's really bad. I was trying to think of a hunchback. Which it should have come to Quasimodo? Me because hunchback, hunching, but no. I'm no. Control. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> what the f There's a robot. There's a robot. I've it, never watched anything from Fallout. It's. Uh, no, people love this game. I know, I know. I'm. I, I, like, I like Elder Scrolls better. Why are you comparing them? This is like. Because they're made by the same people. Okay, but this is like apocalyptic future, right? Well, made by the same people, and it's got a similar engine. Okay. So. I thought this one's more like a comedy. It is. Um, although, it, is apparently. This the one with the annoying chick? N no, 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 that's, 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 uh, Fallout 3. She's that annoying? I love Myra! One of them's like, apparently, like, everyone thinks she's annoying. Yeah, that's Myra! Blow her up. Yeah. She's still annoying. Yeah, like, no, you know, even if you nuke the town where it is, uh, she, like, she, she she's survives. She's like a horrible mutant, like, charred corpse. And yeah. She's, like, why would you do that? She's like, oh, that was a big explosion. Because she has a Minnesotan accent is what People it is. I find her annoying. I Apparently, love... because she's on the top ten, like, list of I Mojo. Love... Yeah, you know, yeah. On the list. I love Moira. I don't know. Ah, those people are wrong. But it's Fallout? It is a Fallout? It is Fallout. It's Fallout 3. Okay, well, see, I'm in the right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm going to know what this is. This one, this one is Fallout New Vegas. I guess there's a oh, and we didn't even introduce ourselves. Hi, my name's John Mark. This is my wife, Michelle. Hi. And uh, you're eating a pickle. I am eating a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> Not as sexy as it sounds. There's, it's insane. There, there's a joke there somewhere, I know, but, I, but I, I covered it. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we're playing uh, Fallout uh, New Vegas, and um, the the thing about the thing that we're most playing, you're playing. Uh, yeah. Played. Yeah, I played. The thing that uh, most people are complaining about uh, with the Fallout Three and Fallout New Vegas is um that the Fallout games were comedies. Um, and there's not as much comedy in, in New Vegas. In New Vegas or in Fallout 3, apparently. I still found some funny stuff. I oh. don't know. So. I can't hear it. It doesn't matter. Well, it's not, I mean, it's, it's not. My, my, my thing about Fallout as opposed to, uh, the Elder Scrolls games is that, What's uh, that? That is, that is a, uh, I don't know what, it, it's some sort of, like... Whoa, it's a mutant goat! It's a, it's a mutant ram! It is a mutant. It, it gave me the cold chill. Did you see that? Just, the young bighorn. That's a young one? Mm-hmm. Kill it. No, it's their pet, or farm animal, or... It's where they get their milk. See the Seth robot? <laughs> I would not be milk for that. I would just be like, well, I, I, I can live without milk. <laughs> Because uh, it's mutated. You don't know what you're drinking. It might not be milk anymore. It might be like I don't know. Okay, so I don't know where I'm going with that. It's, I'm sure it's a boy. I'm sure it's a girl. I don't know. It might be. A, so okay, so this this little exercise, I'm supposed to use the pistol to knock down the sarsaparilla bottles. Um, I equipped the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> you did it! Yeah, I did it! I did it! <laughs> I knocked them all down oh, in one, one shot. shot. You're really good. I was like, oh, that's the wrong gun. <laughs> so, well, wrong song. Yeah. It. Oh, it was. It was you get trouble? No, no. Well, but it, it screwed up the game. So now, you with them on the ground, set? now I actually have to shoot them while they're on oh, the okay. ground. Can you go up to them and shoot them? Yes, yes. Um. Because the, the, the exercise, this little thing is to teach you. Yeah, it's a tutorial. So you have to, you have to do the things. But um, I've got the game of the year edition. Oh, sorry, Nick bought me game of the game of the year edition for Who's Christmas. Nick? Nick Johnson, okay, one of our friends, and uh, so it has all of the DLCs, including I start out with a grenade launcher, apparently. Okay, and that looks nothing like the other gun you were using. 
Well, I know that now. <laughs> I know that now, but at the mm -hmm. time. Pickles. <laughs> that doesn't sound. Okay, suck. I was watching a video and they were like, "Can you soda it?" Oh. And then pickle juice. And I, people were throwing it up, and I was just sitting there going, "I try that. I like well, pickle cause, juice." Yeah, because they've got this little machine that you can take any drink. You're not drink. supposed to. Yeah. Like they said, it, like opening, they're like, "Yeah, you can ruin uh, your machine." Uh huh. And they have a machine that'll turn alcohol into something you can breathe, so you can get drunk faster. It's like the 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 the, the beverage of tomorrow. So they, like, it's the coolest thing. Like they turn this, they have this machine, and it makes a terrible noise, and everyone's like, "Whoa!" And then they it pressurizes these bottles. Uh huh. And you have a straw. Okay. And so you open it, and it pops, and you put the straw in, and you drink it really fast. But you're like gulping air, like uh -huh. it's just like it's just a vapor in there. Yeah. So you drink it and you breathe it basically, and it, so it goes, you know, because you're breathing alcohol right into your lungs, and so you're like drunk like within like like ten seconds. Like it was ridiculous. These people were like, I'm feeling buzz. Like they were like sitting there. Like, you don't want to do more than one because you could just kill yourself. Uh, yeah. But they're like, this is the drink of the future, you know, because you get drunk fast, and because that's apparently what people want to do. Is they well, uh, yeah, because that's. Um, <laughs> there's a little little bit of physics. Little. She got, she this is made by Bethesda. Yes, it is. <laughs> you can tell. We played Skyrim last time. Ah, yes. So. Oh, Bethesda, you and your <laughs> issues. <laughs> so, yeah, that was a, it was fat. They're, like, sitting there, and they're, like, getting drunk, and they're getting red-faced. And they're just, like, I don't know. I can't see this at, like, a frat party where you're just, like, all right, let's go, guys. Pop. When they're, like, making the sucking face, they're, like, Oh, no, no, no. All right, we're good. It's <laughs> yeah. not as fun, you know. No, I mean, uh, that just—it sounds horribly dangerous <laughs> and a, not good well, for you. This machine's like a bajillion dollars, okay? Okay, it's okay. A new thing. It is all right. Well, because it's like, um, um, couldn't we use it for good? Like, is there something we can vaporize to breathe faster to be better for us? I don't know. Um, vitamins. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, cause they've got those. Is that like, how you want to get it in your blood? Is uh, that way? Like, well, they've got those. Like, those. those a little bit. They've got those e cigs. Yeah. And now they've got e cigs that don't even have any caffeine. Uh, not caffeine. Nicotine in them. They're just. They're just flavoring. You know. Just we should for. Should do it. Make e cigs. Uh huh. But like, get like, marijuana and stuff or whatever. What? But not tell anybody. <laughs> Put put THC in yeah, there. Yeah, and sell them. Ah, uh, that's illegal. And move states very quickly. Very quickly. No, we just go to California. Or no, Colorado. Colorado. They're having issues, I thought. Are they? I don't know. I don't keep up. Oh. Uh, what? Oh, I didn't see what you kill. You're like fighting stuff, and I'm like. Uh, geckos. Is this the one where you have a dog and the dog can die? No. Maybe. What game is it? You have a dog and the dog can die. Um, uh, it might be this one. I know you don't start what, out with it. What's with a robot dog? Or like a cyborg dog? I don't, I don't. I don't Isn't there one with a cyborg dog? I don't think so. Not Maybe that I'm aware of. that one where you go to the planet and you're all, it's all silly, goofy, and you're like trying to get materials and there's like an evil corporation and you're all looking for the treasure? Borderlands? Yeah! Isn't there a dog in there? I don't think so, but there should be. I don't know why. I just feel like there's a dog somewhere that was like no, a No, there's, there's, there's not there's a, a dog. dog. Something. There's a game with a robot dog. <laughs> there's Whoa! not. These geckos, geckos are so cool. Yeah, and then you murder them. But em. you can't. Can it's a friendly fire? Because that's what I, I know about Skyrim. Is there yeah, a... there's friendly fire. There's okay. a huge friendly fire. You shoot both Skyrim in you know, here. It's just like. It's like in Skyrim. You're just like, man, you're my best friend. Yeah, you're my best friend. And then you're like. You get into a melee, yeah. Your weapon and you smack them. They're like, "Why did you hit me?" And now they want to kill you. Yeah. Like, there's no forgiveness in that game. It's true. It, yeah, the some of the and the marriage system um, demasculates anyone. Any yeah. Like, I married. Like, I'm like, ah, I'm gonna get married. I'm like this Khajiit. And I'm like, ah, I'm gonna marry the manliest man in this game, which is one of the werewolves, of course. And you know, scars and stuff. Look at her! Oh, she died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But she was doing so. Cause she was like punching. You died. No, that. The, oh. It does this weird slow mo bullet time thing that lady when you looked kill. Epic. I wish she had lived. Cause she was just like, I will take you on. Just uh -huh. punching them. They kind of look like terrifying. Um, and to honor her things. memory, I steal her money. Well, she's <laughs> not gonna use it. It's the future. <laughs> it's the future. No one cares. Future money. Okay. So. 
Which is bottle caps, by the way. I remember that. Yep. I've never played it, but I remember these things. Yeah, it's so. some, some weird... I mean, it, it is interesting that you can recognize things from this game, even though you've never played the I've game. I've never played the game, but I've heard things. Yeah. Oh, so, I mean, I guess that that's kind of a mark of the game itself, that it's... People? Even even people that have never played it have heard really it. really creepy. Um, it's just like, it looks like it's gonna eat her. Well, There's no eye! It's soulless! That's a soul. Shoot it! Soulless dog. Uh, they have, like, they have no soul in them either. Yeah, but, yeah, look, look, at look at those eyes. They're just staring. The dog is worse! There's nothing! <sighs> what, what's the what's the challenge? To go up to somebody and, and uh, converse with them like you would converse in a uh, Bioware or Bethesda RPG? Challenge? Yeah, it's a challenge. You just go up to people and converse with them like you would I don't in know there. Because well, because you have. Really pay attention because I know they don't converse correctly. Yeah, the, the yeah. voice acting's not usually that bad. It's more of they don't do anything with their faces other than speak with their lips. Yep. Well, I, they'll strangely watch you from like the, they, they're in their head and they'll watch you walk by and you're just like, dude, I'm just walking, yeah. chill, like. You've seen me before. And to be don't mind my Draenic armor, you know, yeah. chill. And to be Bandits, fair, chill. You're not gonna, you can't rob this. Yeah. To be fair, like both, both uh, the Elder Scroll games and the Half Life games, are, they're absolutely Half -Life? giant. Or not Half Life, um, Fallout. Both of the games are absolutely. Massive. Yeah, I know. And there's so much you can do, and that's why Skyrim would never do anything. And it. they would never. Yeah, it's true. It's like, oh, we've got to save the, the the kingdom from the dragon. Well, screw that. I'm gonna I'll make be a back sword. I've done everything. Else. I'm gonna make a sword. All right. So yeah, that's uh, that's what we're uh, playing here today, and it's it's very brown. Well, so was Skyrim. Yeah, but that's because you're in Scandinavia. Stuff. Yeah, they do. Like pines. They're pines. Pine. pines. I don't know. I've never been there. Yeah, I think we flew over there when I was five. Just be that's, more like. That's the closest I've come. So yeah. So um. Did you know in Home Alone, they specifically wrote the role for the the boy for Macaulay Culkin? Really? They still went through a hundred cat kids for other. Just in case it didn't work out, but that's he was specifically <clears throat> for that role. Hmm. And then there was the broken family in the movie. Yeah. And the director, if he hadn't realized that Macaulay Culkin came from a broken family. Yeah. And it was really effective on him. Yeah. He would not have chosen him because he did not need to bring those, those already painful things for him back on him from already being coming from a family that's already kind of having issues. Yeah. And then the guy who played one of the burglars, not the one who was. Not the tall one? Not the tall one, the scary one, the boss. Yeah. He wanted him to be actually scared of him. Like, he wanted McCoy Gogan to be scared of him. Yeah. So he never interacted with him on the set. Right. He avoided him. Right. Okay? So that when he was being intimidating, he'd be actually scared of him. And then apparently he actually drew blood from the kid one time. Oh, dear. They were acting. Oh, no. I could not have seen. Oh, slow motion dog death. Well, Skyrim does that, too. You're just like, okay, well, apparently I did something cool. Oh, I keep burping. And oh. the head comes clean off. That was some gun. Yeah. Um, it's a decapitator. It's the decapitator gun. Shoot a bullet and decapitates you. Doesn't matter where you shoot him, it's going to happen to your head. You shoot him in the foot and their head flies off. There we go. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I want this gun to exist. <laughs> Not in our world. No, no, yes. World. Um, so, like, when they were doing the thing where he says he's going to bite off the kid's fingers. And he goes to bite. He actually bit. Oh dear! Drew some blood. Broke skin. Oh no! He wanted the kid to be scared of him. Well, that's how you do it, I guess. So um. And that household from the movie, that, that movie did like it went like twelve weeks in a row on number one. It did really. Yeah. Well. Oh, I remember it went really. And like, the did house really... that they filmed in is a landmark now where they do tours. Really. And they actually took they built the treehouse in the back for the movie and they took it down. It didn't get sold with the house. And it sold for a lot of money. Oh, I bet. And they actually wrote, like, a whole series, apparently. Like, they had a series planned. 
Really? Like, not just a stupid third movie that has nothing to do with it. Yeah, I was, movie. yeah, the third movie but was... there was, like, scripts written and, like, like, um, like, TV show and books and continuations of other characters. Yeah, so this is, this is the point in time I was thinking to myself, I do not want to live in this post-apocalyptic world. Why do I like books? Anywhere where I have to use a handgun to kill a fly, I don't, I don't want to live there. I My thing is, is, why is it when anything gets mutated, it becomes suddenly very aggressive? I don't flies know. aren't really that aggressive. Well, but if they were really, really big, they yeah, might just they want flies food. Aren't really, like, there's certain kinds of flies that are hunters. Yeah. Those aren't those kind of flies. Most well, those were like, if you look at them, if you actually look at them, they've got like stingers and, and oh, so like... like aggressive mutidity. Yeah, but bees aren't necessarily always aggressive. So like... Africanized. But they're not even that... They're not aggressive. They're just so defensive that it's almost like they're aggressive. Yeah. So... Well, um, as far as news, what we've got for news, I've got some bad news for you. Okay. Okay. So, um, the new Legend of Zelda game is going to be delayed. Well, that gives me time. I don't have the Wii, I don't have a Wii U yet. Yeah. So, and um, they had an interview with the Legend of Zelda they creator. They Netflix series. Really? The Zelda Netflix series, but Nintendo's backing out. Why? Because Nintendo doesn't, they're scared of oh. television stuff. Oh my goodness. And movies. Goodness. They're scared well, good. Because of Mario. Because of Mario. But, but, okay, I'm sorry. It's been a while. I'm but sorry. Been it's been. They didn't deny that I'm not, there was not going to be something Nintendo Netflix. <clears throat> they're just not guaranteeing it's going to be Zelda, even though out of all of their out stuff. Out of all their stuff. Zelda would translate so well. There it is. Kill it. I hate that thing. It's so <laughs> freaky. Uh, it's so. <laughs> Mount it and ride it into the sunset. So, There's two options here. There's two options: either kill it or make it your mount. No, I, I, because they had that like little animated thing. I who made that, by the way? That little I don't know the, 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 the mini series, the little series they had. They they had like this animated trailer, um, uh, for like a Zelda trailer. It wasn't for a game. It was for some sort of show. The you old haven't... show. No, 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 no. Excuse me. Yeah, princess. that, that. Hey, uh, it did well. It did do well, it's not actually. The worst thing they've ever made. Um, Have you seen the CD games? Oh, I've the heard. The animation I've, of the CD games. I've when heard. They, like, sold a bit of their copyright to their company. I heard. No, it was the only time Zelda was ever a main character herself. Really? Yeah, she had her own game where she had to go rescue Link. Wasn't good. Well, okay, yeah. But you know, it was the first time they actually tried to put her. in Well, the we just need. Okay, Nintendo. Here's the thing: Nintendo needs to learn is that it's not necessarily movies that are a bad idea. It's taking your license and somebody else. Somebody else. They okay. So I will bring up but the the right game. Nintendo's the last remaining old school giant. They're yeah. The last. Yeah. We have from. The early well, 90, Atari like, early and 90s. Sega are still limping along. They're limping, but they're not really. They don't. They don't. E three means nothing to them. Nintendo is still a competitor with. Yeah, they still have with, systems. They still have. Not really a competitor because I feel like Nintendo offers a different genre than PS, the PS system and the Xbox <clears> system. <throat> um, problem with Nintendo is they're not getting on. They they really need to start adding um, movie play. They don't. Their stuff still doesn't play movies. Oh uh, yeah. Doesn't stream well. Yeah. And it's like, the future is multimedia systems. Yeah, but People Nintendo. People want to buy a DVD player and a Blu-ray and a, a system and a smart TV, a TV. Yeah. They want it all. Yeah. Well, they should. For, Nintendo should be like skip all ahead and make the Wii TV. Just just a TV. A smart TV that plays Wii games that does everything. Everything. They could just jump ahead of everybody else. Ah, uh, that would See, Nintendo, be. I, they're interesting because they like to do new things that we haven't even thought of doing yet. Yeah, they do their own thing. Like the Wii, like granted, that had a lot of problems, but it was still kind of cool that they were trying something new, more new. Yeah. Well, they've and and they've had some very like the Virtual Boy was a complete and utter failure. But then again, they are, are the only ones that have That's like true. they they had like the Game Boy. The Game Boy was. My grandpa wanted to do virtual reality. They invested lots of money, and he mm. did a lot of work on virtual reality. My grandpa was ahead of his time. 
That was the problem. It didn't work because yeah. the technology wasn't where he wanted it to be. Yeah, these um, fine. but they invested. Well, like, the virtual boy a wasn't virtual. Trying the, to do a virtual reality. The virtual boy was not virtual reality. It was I know. this. It, it was, was like a um, Game Boy, but in red. The problem with it hurt red, your eyes. yeah, it it. Well, yeah. Red's a very harsh. But at least they're like they're not just they're going handheld system forever. Like no, no, they they they're always trying PS, new things. PS, PlayStation people brought out and the Xbox brought out any kind of interactive. Sometimes it won't be stuff yeah, because of the Wii. Yeah, Nintendo. Because, well, party games. Because it's really that's what. And I feel like. like well, that's how Nintendo survives is off of Mario, Smash Brothers, and cards, and. Um, and, and I think and Zelda. It, it also survives because um, the way um, Nintendo competes. And that one cute game. What? what, what? Skylanders? Skylanders. But that's for all platform. And that wasn't a Nintendo original. Does it matter? They can survive. No, they have now. They have their own now. They have the amoebas. Yeah. <clears throat> Which I don't know how those work, but they're. I don't know. Those they're. Are, you, you can't get, like get an them. Actual solid like, gold Mario. Like for it. And it's like made out of real gold or something. There are amoebas that. Not even the gold one. There are amoebas that sell on on um, eBay for. They're collectibles. Because they don't. But no. Uh, the way uh, uh, Nintendo I think competes is it doesn't compete. It doesn't compete. Yeah. If you notice well, their it, genres it totally like different. like like PS3 or <laughs> PlayStation and Xbox, Xbox are all over here like we're gonna make the best greatest graphics and and Nintendo's over here like okay you guys do that and I'm gonna play over here with my toys. Well, I like how like Nintendo's good not luck. going for like realistic graphics; they're more cartoony. Yeah. And people get mad at them for that. Like, why are you going more realistic? Why aren't you making more Twilight Zeldas? And I'm like, Twilight Zelda was their first kind of adventure into a more realistic, realistic yeah. look, but it still was cel shaded. Yep. Yep. Um, I and I and like. They didn't like it. I, they're the the creator. I don't think ended up really liking the way that game ended up no. looking in the end. No. Because that's not his thing. Yeah. And I, I think we need to remember that games are supposed to be an art form mm -hmm. too and the artist doesn't have to cater to what we desire as much as what the story they want to tell or the graphics or the car style like you know Zelda's been very musical mm -hmm. oriented for some time now yes um since Ocarina of Time well so actually like, I think it was before well technically in the past did it have music stuff um you it should know. I had, it, had it, it had the Ocarina me. it had the Ocarina I'm post it okay. had the Ocarina, but you didn't play out play the it. songs. Even before Link to the Past, because I think uh, Link's Awakening was before Link to the Past, and that one was where you were going around... Um, yeah, he's he's shaking that person down. You were going around collecting instruments. You just punch him. You were collecting instruments. Oh, yeah, where it, the, But yeah, <laughs> Ocarina of Time... What the... <laughs> He scared me. I looked away, looked back, and he ran towards me, and I scared him. I thought he was going to get me. <laughs> I'm very invested. I guess. I feel like I'm here. <laughs> I don't. Even with those dead eyes dead staring eyes. at you. Just... You don't have dead eyes. It doesn't work. Um, no, but yeah, the Ocarina of Time was the first, the first time when <laughs> they had music that you played. Yeah. So, yes. No, I'm finding the... Um, <clears throat> The handheld 3DS version of Ocarina of Time is not as fun. Really? I don't think so. I'm not having as much fun. Um, I thought I could just return it to Katie and start playing Majora's Mask, but you're playing it. No, you can, you can take it. I'm, I'm... Um, Majora's Mask, I guess because it has... I have a hard time replaying Majora's Mask because I put so much investment into the yes, games emotionally. Uh, like, I actually... There's like emotional attachment to that game. More so, the Ocarina of Time was like nostalgic for me because it was my first ever, like, we got a GameCube, we got the special edition that came with the CD that had Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask and, um, uh, the first Zelda and then the second Zelda. Yeah. Had those four games That on disc it. is ridiculously valuable. I think I might have it somewhere. Uh, we do have it. It's on our shelf. Is it still playable? Yes. I don't know, cause I, I actually repurchased it because I got our old one got scratched and I went online before they became too valuable well, and repurchased it. But I had it too. Oh, okay. Woohoo! So we may but have yeah, two it's, copies of it. It's, it's cool because, like, you got, like, free game. We got two free games. Three yep. free games. 
technically like four, I think, three games on it, but we never really could get very far on the original games because we're like little kids and we didn't understand. Yeah. There's no directions, and my sister and I are kind of dumb when it comes to games. So I'm not very good at games. Yeah. At those games, but. Well, um. I just remember finally the, re the reveal. The chic reveal. Oh, we were so yeah. dumb. How did we not figure it out? Well, we were just like, oh, no. Like, we were just, our minds were blown at that plot twist. And it's like, I love it because Sheik's all like independent and epic. Oh, look, Link, it's me, Zelda the whole time. I'm captured. <laughs> it's like, apparently, when you put the dress on, damn, Zelda in this dress. Bam. So, same thing with Tetra. Yeah, Tetra, when she, when she was like, I'm Zelda now. Oh, no, I'm captured. <laughs> She helps you fight in the end, and then like that whole like all oh, that fight's so fun when you actually have a sword fight with Ganon. Yeah. And yeah, because it had that really cool mechanic where she you... would shoot at him with the the light arrows, mm -hmm. but he would start blocking them, so she had to bounce them off your soul your shield to hit him. Yep. So you're like trying to like, and if you didn't do it, she would hit you. And there was some comic where she was like actually trying to hit you. Yeah. That was the truth. Um, At that Tetra, Tetra was pretty much probably the coolest Zelda, honestly. Uh, the the that game I liked Wind Waker because it had a uh, really cool mechanic where it had like like an arrow would pop up when you like knock their sword back yeah. and you could do, you could do ep epic epic things. Um, the thing about the stealth was better in that game. It yes the yes because because really because the honestly, cell shaded the shell shaded really lended itself yeah well and then we were hiding from the pig guys and mm -hmm. the barrels and stuff and they'd be like hur, hur, and looking around mm -hmm. and then they find you and you would like be tear like you first play it you don't know that they're just gonna throw you in prison you're like i'm going to die see i didn't think that because i played ocarina of time and i was thinking it was the same shtick well you know we have the well, I had played the gerudo too. the gerudo sure. Thing. Yeah, well, I had played it first too, but these weren't, you know, skippy clad women who decided that they didn't need no man. Um, I know it's not how it really works, but anyway, they this and that was. There were desert Amazons. They didn't feel as aggressive. Yeah. They're just like hey. Yeah, because they're just women. Would blow, and then they'd run up to you, and that was that. Oh, what are you saying? Because because they're women, and no, they're not as scary because they're women. They, no, their fight, their scenes were hard. They were. Oh yeah, they were. Um, but like I don't know because you're like this little kid, you're taking into this terrifying castle thing. You're trying to find your sister. You don't know what's happening to your sister. Um, before you know she's dead. I mean, it's, I mean, I know it's Nintendo, so it's not really like that. But you know, like you're, I'm into this. It's dark. It's night, and you're trying to sneak around these pig guards. Yeah. Now the best part was when you go back and you have a sword and you don't have to sneak at all. And you're like, oh, no sneaking for me. And you're like punching things. Um, or stabbing things. Yahtzee had an interesting look on, because he did a review of uh, Majora's Mask. And he had kind of an interesting look on it. Because he's, you know, he doesn't really like the Zelda games. But he, no. liked, he liked this one because it felt, and, and I never noticed this. Link in Majora's Mask is fairly, like he's not the hero. No. Like, he is the hero, but nobody sees him as the hero. And everything that he fixes... Gets undone. Gets undone. Yeah. So it's really kind of this weird exercise in futility. But if you if you look at the way, like, the people interact with, with Link, you know, like, in other hey, ones... If you, he's, don't, if you don't um save the marriage, because mm -hmm. in the end credits you see him get married... Yeah. Does that not happen in the end credits? Uh, I don't think that they were that smart. Okay. I don't think I honestly do not think that they had that programmed in there. I'd have to look. You might because it, it does seem. I feel like a lot of the stuff that happens because I never not been it. Yeah, I, 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 I got one hundred percent completed the whole game. Yeah. Um, and now they made it easier apparently in that. So. Oh, thank goodness. Well, because you can like save in spots yeah. and you can um jump the times. So now you don't have to wait, but with cafe behind the rock for. Yeah, you just like. Five minutes, and yeah. then you know suddenly move slightly when the guy's there because you're too excited, and then he sees you and runs away, and you just start all oh, all oh, over. Oh, I did that like three times. I was like, screw this game. <laughs> you don't deserve to get married. Just tackle him. He's right there. Beat him uh, up. Do I have a sword and magical stuff? Oh, uh, I hated that. Stupid thief. It was it was it was really really kind of sad though. I had to say, Skyward Sword, not the best Zelda game. No. Mm, yeah. Um. Story-wise, was kind of fun. 
uh, kind of... I, I think my thing is I wasn't ready to have my questions answered uh, about how things worked. Okay, yeah. So I kind of didn't want to know everything because it, it leaves it so much more open for yeah. interpretation, for different stories, for different this and that. And now it's like, well, now we know where, why Zelda is Zelda and why Link, Link is Link, Link, Link and, and Ganon Ganon, 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 yeah. Um, and why they, they're basically cursed to be constantly reborn and fight each other. Like, they're, they're actually the three are linked and... Ha, Link, yeah, yeah. ha! Well, that's, yeah, I think that's why his name is Link. Is <clears throat> actually, it's, it's Link for a different reason, and I don't remember what it is. The creator of oh, an interview explained it. So, um, since we're also playing another Bethesda game, there is something that is happening that I think is super excitingly cool. So, Morrowind. I loved Morrowind, but the thing that I hated, 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 hated about Morrowind is the combat system. The combat system was, was dumb. I don't know. It was, well, basically it worked off of, like, you swung the sword, right? Yeah. So it had that. But then it used, like, D&D kind of things to see whether or not you hit. Oh, yeah, you told me. So, like, like randomly do a million damage. Yeah, and it was... But um, they're taking... Some fans are taking... They modded that already. They've modded they, that. they have modded it, but now fans are taking the, Sky, the Skyrim um, mechanics and uh, the Skyrim system, and they're putting it in Morrowind. And they've gotten it about 75% done. Cool. So, I don't know if it's going to be like a mod for Skyrim or how they're going to release it, but I'm pretty excited about that. Is that the, is that the one where you come on a boat? Yes, that is so the one. I started playing that once. Yeah, because you always are in jail for some reason. So, um, here's something. Okay, so you know, you told me what swatting is, right? Yes. So, what is swatting? Swatting is where you call and calling either a bomb threat or a dangerous kidnapping situation at a location. Yeah. And the SWAT team shows up and comes into your house, points guns at you, and you don't even know what's going on. Like yep. It's, it's a prank. It's a prank. It's wasting police resources on an innocent bystander as a prank. Yeah, and there's been several and, uh, Twitchers that... Yeah, Twitch people have had it happen to them several times. I really hope they catch the original people who do it. They have. Oh, thank goodness! And I hope they go to jail for a long time. Um, and well, get at least like fifty thousand dollars. At least they have um caught one of them. Just prove that you know, hey, this is not. Um, there is okay. a um. There's nothing funny about swatting. Thirteen-year-old boy, uh, and it, they're not releasing any information about him because he is thirteen years old, and there's laws with that. Yeah, so they they swat a thirteen-year-old boy who plays Minecraft. Yeah. And sorry, I forgot. Remember, 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 I'll tell you about it after this. Okay. I just and so now that he's 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 back into the custody of his parents, and he's going to face a oh, so lot. He did the swatting. He did the swatting. Yeah. Boys are stupid. Like I know girls do stupid <clears throat> crap, but boys do like this kind of crap. Like young boys do the stupid. They don't think at all. No. And so the police showed up at his house, and like uh, they arrested his like, butt. How? How? How would you not? I, I don't care. Have you, have you not watched anything to know that they can track that kind of stuff? It's like a, one of our friends, some kids out of the school that some of her kids go to that she teaches. Uh -huh. um, she's a youth leader. Um, they use like 411 or what, that number where you're supposed to be anonymous. Yeah. To call in a bomb threat at the school. Oh my well, God. guess what? Huh. They traced it back to you. It's not truly anonymous when it comes to that kind of crap. It's anonymous to caller IDs, but it's not anonymous yeah, to the police. Stupid. So that was they got caught and busted so bad. Oh my goodness. It's, it's, but yeah, so they're gonna they they arrested this person. Minecraft player. Who did it? Yes, and um, he's going to be uh, facing be a charges. Year old boy who plays Minecraft. Yep. Uh, he's gonna be facing quite a few charges and fines currently. Upwards oh, around so thirty thousand. Yeah. He's never this kid. There goes your. There goes your college fund. There goes. Yeah. There goes a lot there of goes stuff. Your college and there goes your car and anything your parents might have gifted you. Yep. Just that you didn't gone. deserve anyway. Yeah. So. so I'm. It is. It does feel kind of good to know that you know there's some. I, just, I remember reading the story where um he was a the Twitch player. I can't remember uh -huh. what he played. I think it was Minecraft. Yeah, that's pretty popular. Yep. Um, or a shooting game. He got swatted. Uh huh. Um, during his stream. 
Yep, that, that's... And happening. his nine-year-old brother answered the door, and they're pointing guns at this nine-year-old boy, who has no idea what's going on, telling him to get down as they go through the house. And the, bo the, the, the Twitch user was just like, I don't, I, I don't know what you have against me, but you don't need to be doing this to my family. Like, my brother is terrified now. Yep. And now it's going to be hard for, like, you ruining the trust in these forces that are supposed to be protecting us. I know we have issues there, too, Yeah, right now, and it's not, and honestly, it's not the, the SWAT team's fault, because when they get the, when they get they a, have to they have to, like, get the serious situation. Yeah, they, because the, the one time that it's not, then, you know, people... Die. Yeah. yeah. But... So, the, the moral of the story, don't SWAT people. It's dumb. It's very dumb. It's very cruel. It's just very, yeah, it's very cruel. I like that. Like, you shoot it in the yeah, head, it and it goes like, like ow! I'm coming after y'all! Oh, so there was another video. It was a, like a little kid Twitch user. Like, totally should not be using Twitch. Okay. Mom streaming Minecraft. Uh -huh. he's, he looks like he's 12. Okay. Okay. And he's always had, like, maybe 11 people watching him. Well, like, I don't know if it was 4chan or Reddit or somebody who would decide <clears throat> to troll this kid. Uh-huh. And they would go, and they'd say, okay, everyone, go into the lobby and just post, like, like uh, digital penises and things like that. You know, like, pixelated stuff. Um, you know, just saying horrible, not saying horrible things, but just being, like, gay jokes and stuff. Being horrible, yeah, just being. And all he cared about was that he had 4,000 people. Yep. He's like, oh, that's four. Oh, like he started crying. He was so happy. There were so many people on his stream. And he never realized that he was getting like troll. Troll. Uh, he was just happy that some but people were coming. He could not believe it. And he was just like, he was glowing. And I'm just like, and bless he, that I, child. I, I was just so like happy for him. Like he, they made his day by trying to troll him. They had made uh, his day. He, I don't think he cares that they were trolling him. Just the idea that there were people who could find his stream and went that many people into his stream. And now he's yeah. Now he's, and now he's like virally famous because people posted the video of him like just so. in tears from how like going to get his mom to see how many people he had in his stream and stuff. Like oh, I was just wow. It was so cute. Like. Oh, well, you know, goodness. that's... It was golden-hearted little boy who just wanted to entertain people while they played Minecraft. Yeah. That's all he wanted to do. Oh, it was so cute. Yeah, that... Uh, hey, there we go. That's that's some, some good... Good yeah, that came out of that. I'm going to check on the small one. Okay, well, I will go to the next, um... To the next, uh... sleeping now, of course. Oh, I hate that freaking cat. Okay, so yeah, and this is a weird thing about this particular uh, DLC is it gave me like spears, throwing spears. I never have tried them out, and I should sometime just to see how effective they are. But yeah, like you just start out with um, with a freaking grenade launcher and throwing spears. It's just it's weird. So hey, what? <laughs> Our, uh, my, my, my co-host has gone to check on our, um, little one. So now there's another thing that's kind of interesting is the, um, uh, the game Bloodborne. Apparently this game has one of the most, uh, in-depth character creation things. What is he doing? Okay. <laughs> I wondered why we hadn't heard anything I know. from him. His movie's over, so usually he comes in. And yeah. Know. Well, I tried to put him down for a nap. He's like, "No, I'm not tired." Like bull crap. Our son, our son, just out, just passed out. Um. So yeah. Um. But anyways, uh, Bloodborne has one of the most in-depth character creations. Like you can make it look almost like you. But what does the internet want to do with it? Like a penis. Well, close. Okay, usually it's a penis. Yeah, it's usually, it, oh, we could make something? Let's make a penis. Yeah, pretty much, because um, men are obsessed with their own genitalia. I guess. Um, they don't make it look like a vagina. Well, it's harder. There's this more... <laughs> a little more complicated. A little more complicated. It's pretty much, you know... Okay, anyway. And, anyways. Uh, no, make the ugliest thing. Like there, And there's, like, oh, contests. No! There's contests, like, internet contests. Can, who hey, can make... You make Overweight people? I'm sure. Because I want to play like a chubby girl. Or it can only be a boy. I think it's only me. I don't know. <gasps> well, it's only for PlayStation 4 anyway, so we can't try. Oh, I never be able to play Bloodborne? Oh, we, well, they may I'm port not, it. They I may wanna, port it. I don't want to 
buy a PlayStation 4. I, out of all of the, the systems, if no. I had a system to... They I, are uh, making Kingdom Hearts 3. Finally! You we'll have to buy it then. Finally! Oh I've my seen, goodness. I've seen... Oh, this is me trying to disarm these mines and... Uh, with your body? <laughs> my... Yes. You are a cripple. Use a stem pack. Sleep or fight. Because sleeping. Yep. Regrows limb. You. Yep. Well, I guess if you're mutated. I guess. Um, actually, there's a... Um, or a vampire. <clears throat> there's a perk for that where sleeping would regenerate limbs and things. And this? And now... Uh, yeah, you'd, you it, are you, mutated. Yeah, you well, you mutated. Yeah, but it can. There's some like downsides to it. Um, and here's so and now for a kind I wanna of. I want to see the hottest. Not the hottest. The the ugliest. The ugliest. Oh, let me see if I can find it. It's 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 pretty crazy. Um, but while we're looking for that, um, oh, and here's the actual gameplay trailer. Oh, it looks so cool. I want Bloodborne so bad. I've it been looks. I'm watching people play it. Is it? Is it look pretty good? It looks pretty fun. I actually, I hear it's harder than Dark Souls. So. I somebody told me now. I don't know if this is true, but is it made by the same people? I don't know. Maybe it looks like it. It lo yeah, it looks like it could be. Yeah, see, only. I just got a text message. Only for for that. Um. Dude. But uh. No one loves me. Oh, is it Facebook again? Stupid Facebook. Alright, let me see if I can actually find the the place where... Um, the cog is dead radio. That's weird. So, yeah, the... Uh, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna check Facebook. You're gonna I'm check Facebook? Yay! Oh, here it is. Here, here we go. So, yeah, you could... just killed a baby with forceps. That was nice of him. Yeah, so... Um, so, yeah, you got like... You got you got some some. <laughs> wow, it's not that bad. It's just like a weird Photoshop mashup. It just looks like weird Photoshop. To yeah. Me. Well, that's basically what what. Well, okay. So basically, for those there's 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 your there's your um, there's your vagina. There you go. Um, so basically, all that's all character creators are. They're sliders that basically act like Photoshop. Um, so here's here's a fun right. little little uh, news report. <laughs> so there is a um, uh, a school in. I'm reading it. Cheshire. Cheshire. I don't know where that is. Um, where they are reporting parents that buy their kids like M rated or plus eighteen, whatever the the. Well, is that illegal? Where they're at? Um, well, it, 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 isn't it the choice of the parents <clears throat> to know where they're at? Where are they at? I, it are says Cheshire. Yeah, but is that in the U.S.? I don't know. That's the thing. It, it didn't say anything in the article. Okay, go down. Um. Okay, too much down. We're going up and down on this. Um. Not which education partnership the Greenwood schools. Are. See, here's here's the thing about that. In the United States, in the United States, it is not illegal. For you to buy your kids M-rated games. In fact, it is actually not illegal for businesses to not sell. Some will choose. A, yes. A Walmart, GameStop will have a policy where they do not. Well, they card. They card mm -hmm. you. Um, but it is not. If if like it, if I were to not card someone that wanted to buy cigarettes or alcohol. And it turns out that they were some sort of undercover, or whatever. Underage. Yeah, that wow. could be. I could be charged with a whole bunch of stuff. They don't have that for video games. But they have the same thing for for pornography. Um, if you sold, you know, an underage kid or a parent bought their underage child, you know, pornographic material, they can be charged. Oh, they don't want them to have Facebook or apps, the social apps. Who doesn't? The school. Oh, uh, so it's like super conservative. That's crazy. But yeah. I'm reading the, the, the <clears throat> comments because that's always a good place oh, to go. Oh, yes. Um, but it does not look like a place not in the U.S. But, it uh, might be. Now, in, in, in Australia, I do you're know. You're in the U.K. It's U.K. Is it U.K.? Yep. So, oh, so it, it may actually be. Who knows? Because I know in Australia, and I only know this because. Australian. Australia. Australia. Austra what did it's I say? Australian. Australia? No, Australia. Australian. Stop it. In Australia. 
Australian. We stop it. <laughs> in Australia. Abuse, abuse. I did, whatever. Uh, in Australia, they have. Um, there, there, there's laws like like it's illegal yeah. to sell. In fact, um, like they've been trying to get it to like where they actually ban from the country M-rated games. What are they gonna do? Go door door? Well, they can stop you from selling them at the, you know, local, you know, GameStop. No, they can't. You can't buy them in the in the country. You right. Order them online. Yep. Yeah, yep. 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 And in the, I think in like. I think in Canada it is, or not in Canada, in, in the UK it is illegal um, to sell to underage. Yeah, but did, 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 did the UK actually not pass in that law that says Steam has to allow people to resell their games? And so, they find a I, I don't know. I think they found a loophole. That was a while ago. Um, did we lose net neutrality or did we win that? See, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I do know that I'm it... I'm well-informed. Actually, I read that we won it, but then people were telling me how it was bad that we won it. So, eh. Yeah. I keep trying to control the internet. It, it, it's it not really the government. It's, it's, Corp it's Cox and, and Comcast and stuff who want to yeah. find ways of making more money. Our internet and selling it in pieces yeah. of the broadband and the... Well, and then part of that, part of that is actually because of uh. Well, that Netflix will have to can pay lots of money to have faster streaming, and once they do that, the rest of us are screwed because Netflix accounts for like a huge amount of streaming. Huge, yeah. Because so. part and part of that is it, it comes to a limitation in the technologies. We are starting to run out of bandwidth. There's there's a limited amount of band where we can not recover. How to do internet through microwaves? They are working. I don't know if they actually they even have figured out. They have a way of doing it, but if you um, build a tall building, it goes away. Build a what? A tall building, it goes away. What? Like, they, like, you block it slightly, and that's it. They oh, yeah, yeah, because microwaves, the thing about microwaves... <coughs> I know, but it's just funny, like, you get their internet. They are, they're completely directional. Yeah, but if you get their internet, it decides <laughs> to build a tall building where it's coming from, that's it for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, okay. So, I don't... I, 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 uh, and but satellite emulator is getting better and better. It's still mm -hmm. not great. It's still kind of expensive, um, but it is getting better. Yeah. So. Um, if you still can't play League of Legends, I think it's time we talk about Zelda, and I'm wearing my Zelda shirt today. Oh heck yeah! Well, because it's kind of interesting that they decided to to the cat. that they're going to that they're going to um, delay uh, I Zelda. She was gonna come in and talk. Why are they delaying it? Because um, they, well, this is the reason why the, the, the creator said that he was delaying. They discovered that they can do more. Like, oh. because of the technology, and they're just like... That's a good delay. That is a good delay. Because they're, I, I think they're you. going to make it like a full-on sandbox. I don't like that. You don't like that? I like that. It's always been a little sandboxy, but not that much uh, quest-wise, except for Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask, well, and... They and then leading the other quest, a lot of them you kind of could pick and choose. Like, you yeah. could fit, you could literally do all of the, um, dungeons. Uh-huh. And then just go back and do all the side quests. Yeah. And then just go back and do all the dungeons for no reason. Yep, yep, I've and done then, that. Well, because I usually go before I, and then before I ever fought Majora, uh -huh. I would make sure all the dungeons were re-completed. Every oh, time. Really? I mean, time before I would go finish the game, I would go back, do the three dungeons, you know, get all my healing and stuff, and then I would go. Well, because the 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 second the mountain uh, dungeon, you all you ha you almost have to beat it twice because um, you can't get the upgraded sword until without beating it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because of the forge and. Well, and I always end up going back to the <clears throat> fairies or something. Yeah, so yeah. I'd go back and get my fairies, and. Um, How about you got all the fairies? Uh, different things like uh, well, the forest temple. I know if you get all the fairies, you get uh, your magic bar gets doubled. I don't think I ever got all the fairies. In any of the dungeons? I did. No, no, in some of the dungeons. Yeah. I think there was one that glitched out because the Jorah's mask was very glitchy. Well, uh, yeah, um, they were they were trying to. Well, it was a really weird mechanic for a system that couldn't quite handle it. On top of them making that game like six months later, or like a year later, after Ocarina of Time, trying to get it out before game Yes, came out. yes, I remember Which, that. I don't know why they felt so rushed to do that. Uh, but it's okay, because Link is dead. Yep. 
Lincoln's dead in that but one. But that's just a theory. Ah, uh, game yeah. theory. Anyway. Uh, that was a good episode. That was a good episode. It's one of his best episodes. I honestly. think so, too. I like his uh, Freddy episodes, too. But everyone likes the Freddy episodes. Oh, that game. You won't play it. I won't play it. You I'll are a wuss. The crap out of it. You are a wuss. Someone always posts where the jump scares are, so I just jump to those spots in the videos. <sighs> someone always says where the first. <clears throat> you know what I don't think is so scary? Hmm. The third one. Really? Yeah. Cause I had that clap, the clap. Well, cause, cause the, <clears throat> the jump scares were like. Here's and, here's uh, kind of my. This is my theory why you may not think it's scary. I the first game I think is a, is one of the scariest because um. There's actually not a lot of animation in that, I the realize. One? The first one. Yeah. It was... There's only one actual animated scene. Yeah. Oh, no, there's the jump scare scenes where you die. Yeah. They're animated because they go... Blah, 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 blah. But then there's Foxy who runs down the hall. That's yeah. That's about it. And, but it's, it's, it's like that scene in, what was it, Condemned? With the mannequins. Oh, where you never can see you. <clears throat> Yeah, like where you like, behind you. like, like the the and, and um, Doctor Who had that with the the, the weeping angels weeping thing. Angels. It was this thing where you never saw them move, but like you 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 turned away and you looked back, and they were in a different position. And I'll be honest with you, that is something that just tickles a certain part of our primal fear response. Well, that's why the most scary could be not could be Boston, um SCP people think. At least is the one that won't move when you're looking at it. Oh and yeah. If you look away or blink, it can run and snap your neck instantly. Yeah. And it like follows you through the whole video game. We sh you should play that one. Oh. I have don't... a lot of downtime. Yeah. And then you should play SCP. I think it's free download. Free download. Um, I'll look at it. Because they're always modding and adding new SCPs. Yeah. And um, you should play. I'm not playing it. <laughs> um, I, I can't do it. I can't even play Amnesia still, guys. So. Uh. So here is me saving. You play Amnesia because the first hour is nothing, and we should put that up. There we go. I'll do I that. I like screaming at the doors opening. The doors opening. Um, Here's a two-headed cow. Apparently they made a mod for Amnesia. Not a mod. I don't know what the mod. It's where, and you're playing the monster, the grunt. Uh huh. And it's like a side squirrel, and you're like jumping through the castle. I don't know, looking for Daniel or something. It looks silly. Looks <laughs> so. They're about right. They're almost done with their next game. Oh, uh, is it it's gonna mean a... Soma? It is uh -huh. a sci-fi horror game. Ooh. Um, from what the trailers and stuff you've seen, they have actually some live action trailers, like live people in them. Yeah. And stuff. It's, I, it's some kind of computer, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it kind of has that. At first, you kind of feel like it's gonna have that um system shock. System shock, yeah. But I don't know. I've seen some of the gameplay. I don't know. It looks. Well, I it like looks old. <clears throat> it looks like they might finally be back to their amnesia, because amnesia uh, machine for pigs was amnesia engine, but not amnesia riders. And not, I don't and think it's the lore either. No, like, it is. It's good. Was, was machine for pigs part of the amnesia lore? Yes. Oh, they was had, it? You're, we can't. We don't know who your descendant. You're either descendant of Alexander or um, Daniel. Daniel. And you are bonkers. Anyway, um. Well, yeah. Because it's, of always. Yeah. It's pretty easy to figure out you did something terrible. Because that's the gimmick. That's the gimmick, yeah. Um, that's a gimmick for all horror, by the way, lately. Is if you can't figure out who the bad guy is, you're the bad guy. You're, it's you, yeah. <laughs> it's you. Well, because that's, that's, uh, that's the three stages of fears. Like, um, first is there's a monster coming for me. Second is there's a monster coming for the ones I love. And then the third is I I'm the monster. monster. <clears throat> well, the thing that's not so bad about like in the first game about that, even when you, because you figure it out kind of early, because you kind of as you discover more, because you know you go in the game knowing you don't remember anything. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, that's why it's called amnesia. And uh. you know, um, but you do remember your name, and you do remember you have something to do. Yep. And you watch Daniel's growth as he comes to terms with the fact that he, he did. did terrible, yep. awful things. But that Daniel and this Daniel are now two different people. This Daniel is a redeemed Daniel. Yeah. I don't know how it's possible to say that, really, when he can't save anybody. Well, Everyone's already gone. That always bugged me about some of these, like, these amnesia plot lines of movies. Like, uh, Resident Evil, the movie. Mm -hmm. Bugged the crap out of me, because they're like, the, the two characters had amnesia, you know, because of the nerve gas. 
Yeah. And then as soon Yeah, I guess. And as soon as the guy learns that, oh, I was the person who was going to sell the T virus to I'm evil. Suddenly, oh, I just remembered I'm evil. And none of the like none of the character growth previously would have his choices at all. Yeah, he just People change. They do. It's we're affected by our choices, even if we're not sure why we're making those choices anymore. So. So that yeah, that. Yeah, Resident Evil movies are so consistent. Anyway. Oh my god. Um, they're fun. <laughs> Me? Dude, I hear the new Resident Evil game, which uh -huh. is called. It's episodic. It's now episodic. Revolution. It's Evolution? something. Revolution, something like that. It makes you feel like the original game, like the no, four, whatever was the last good one they had, four or two or something. Yeah. Um, it, it, apparently it's pretty good. The four, the, uh, Resident Evil Four is considered by and a lot of people to be the best. Silent Hill has also died off because <clears throat> their gimmicks up. Yep. Silent Hill Two had that gimmick of it's you. Yep. Um, and it was a big shocker. Sorry for spoiling, but that's just. Um, if you don't know it by now, well, pff, I don't care. Um, I mean, I've never played the games, but I've watched the games. Well, and All my knowledge comes from observation and not actually playing, even though I think I could play Silent Hill because the fear, the horror in that game is not so much a ooga booga ooga booga kind of horror, it's a atmosphere. The whole time is atmosphere. Sure, there's things in the fight, yeah. but those things are kind of there. <clears throat> like, they're not, like, usually jumping out in your face. Yeah. There's usually... The only guy that kind of freaks you out the most is Pyramid, Pyramid Head. Yeah. But Pyramid Head has not a timer. Did you know that? In the final fight with him? Uh-huh. If you never shoot him and you just avoid him the whole time, mm -hmm. he will eventually just kill himself. Really? Because it's the, um, that character, whatever his name is. Uh, I, don't, I, can't, I can't remember his name. I don't remember it either. Dealing, because Pyramid Head represents a part of his brain. Because that's what Silent Hill is. is it's your messed up head in a physical play. Yeah. Um, and the whole reason there is even fog in the game is because of graphic reasons. Yep. Um, Graphical limitations. But, I mean, and then Silent Hill 3, I didn't mind it. It had kind of continued, because it kind of really continued on from the first game. Yep. Which was dealt with Heather. And they decided to make that into a movie and then botched it completely. Um. Well, there, we haven't had exactly what I would consider luck with uh, video game movies. Prince of Persia uh, movie was pretty good. I fell asleep twice. Yeah, that's probably not a good sign. <laughs> I keep trying to watch it. I enjoyed I it. I enjoyed I, it. I love, I love Persia stuff, and I love things uh, like that. I just need to not watch it when I'm really tired. I enjoyed... Or not watch it when I'm at a drive-in theater, because you can't watch movies that way. No. I enjoyed that movie. Look, it's, it's your ride. Oh... I, like, I thought these things were going to attack me. I was like, I was impressive. not... I didn't know. I was not prepared for it. So we need to wrap this up because we're, we're coming to the end. Um, I think next next week... Um, so the reason why um, we didn't do a um, podcast uh, last, last week. week is my computer went... Uh, but it's okay. So I've got a new... Com well, I don't have a new computer. I've got a new motherboard. Um, I think I've got it back up to working condition. So we're going to hopefully be doing these. I think next week we should do, um, we should bring like our favorite something, favorite Disney movies. We can talk about that forever. I can talk about Disney movies forever. I can talk about Miyazaki movies forever. Uh -huh. I can talk about most animated movies. I can, you can probably talk about any anime movie at me and I could probably dissect it and discuss it. That'll be fun. Yeah. About any of them. Might do that. Might just put a movie a really on. Bad one that I can't. We might do that. Might might for instead of doing just video games all the time, we might just uh, throw up a movie and record over ah, it. Ah, the Naked Man. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know where this guy came from. Like, he has the fire. I know, I know, but like, like he has no purpose. Like you ask him these questions, you think that he's gonna have like some sort of like arc or stuff. Like, nope, he's a druggie. They just. Funny. And then he runs off and is like, so long, naked man. Yeah. Be free. Be free. What is it? What is it? Oh, here it is. You know, you beautiful train wreck. Oh, it? yeah. Oh, yeah. He's like, hey. <laughs> you live that dream, you beautiful train wreck. That's what he is. He's a beautiful train wreck. <laughs> Harry Potter. He looks like Harry Potter. <laughs> 
Ah. Uh, 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 Harry Potter. Bot. Ah. Uh, no. Get out. Uh, no, I always tell them to leave. Uh, I, I don't leave. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. So next time, well, I don't know, we might mix it up with, like, instead of doing videos, we might do, like, movies where we just talk about a movie we're <laughs> like, because I can we talk can... about Pulp Fiction. Oh, yes. She she has never seen Pulp Fiction up time. until, we don't have time to talk about it now. up until a few days ago. And what was your, what was your uh, assessment of it? It's, it's an experience. It's an experience. It's and not I, a good nor bad. It's just a thing that I happened to me. I would. I would. <laughs> it's almost like, like a repressed bad childhood memory, I guess, that you're dealing with now, later on in life. Yeah. Days. Anyway, okay. So, bye. See you later. All Come right. Back. Thanks, Thanks for you. listening, and uh, we'll see you next time. Yep. Go away. All right. Stop that. No, it's tradition. Ah. Uh, Bye.